Hey everybody, how are you doing here? Uh, you know, just playing a little Madden. And I realized, well, I got a notification. And it was about Mari Cooper. And I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Is you alright? And everything. And then I read into it. And it says that Amari Cooper talked a little bit about Aqib Talib and Marcus Peters, two of the Rams' cor uh, secondary. And then I remembered he shared a division with them. Remember, it was they were on the Chiefs, and then they were on the Raiders. And he said, I know them inside and out. Ha, 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 okay. All right. All right, yeah. So we got we got a receiver who knows basically all their moves, everything that they've done, how they play, their playing style. So he's gotta know what to work up against because he's played up against these guys a lot. That just got me thinking, saying Amari Cooper did pretty good. Against them with the Raiders. And the Raiders are just a whole crap show. And now he's got a great quarterback in Dak. And he's got everything. So. This shouldn't be no problem for Amari then. Hey Cowboy X Factor. How you doing? Um, oh no. Oh no. This ain't Christopher Charles last game. Rob Marinelli came out and said that um, he'll do whatever it takes for us to keep him. So, pretty happy about that. Um, you know, I really like Chris. Great guy. I, yeah, Chris. And I, I, I also really like um, Rob Marinelli. I got, I got great respect for the dude. Um, great guy. Dolphins. Yeah, he ain't going. Why would someone want to go to the Miami Dolphins out of any team? Out of any team? The Dolphins? I'd rather go to the Bills. Or I'd rather stay with the Cowboys. A team that actually, okay, I'm not saying the Bills have a Super Bowl shot, but, like, I'm saying Dolphins don't have a shot. Like, Cowboys, we have a shot at a Super Bowl sometime soon um same with a lot of other teams do do the dolphins really though oh yeah we need him for the cowboys um i want to make this I, I i want this team to be good uh chris richards obviously really helped out the secondary so much um turned them into some way way better players and I just think that if we got rid of him, then I'm I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. If we got rid of him, what what the hell are we even doing? Um, yeah, I don't really care about the Patriots. Um, I care more about uh, the Cowboys winning than the Patriots. So, I just hope the Cowboys win. If we win, hey, that's that's all that matters. Uh, Patriots, hey, they're, they're... I'm kind of sick and tired of them, seeing them in the Super Bowl them every single year. But, um, you know, whatever. How would that... How would them, if they lose... How'd that make it more likely for him to stay? Because I'm confused on that. But, like, you know, I, I can kind of see a, a little bit of a point there, I guess. Oh, Cole Beasley's wide open. Oh, shoot, and he's injured. Oh, man, I'm, I love Cole Beasley. I hope he stays. I really do. I don't, I don't want Cole Beasley to leave Dallas Cowboys. Oh. Oh, I see now. 
All right. And let's just run it in with Dak. <laughs> I'm actually playing the Jaguars with Bills right now. And Cole Beasley's doing phenomenal. I love Cole Beasley, man. Um, okay, yeah, I see, I see. I see your point there. Um, I just hope... The only thing I'm praying for, Dallas Cowboys win... And Rams loss and an Eagles loss. Oh, pff, Cole Beasley. How many receiving yards? I just got a touchdown with Beasley. Um, hey, Cowboy Face, how are you doing? Thank you so much for your video, man. I'm going to actually do something like that um, for everybody here. Um, everybody that's ever been a part of this channel, I'm going to give them a nice shout out. Because um, everybody here means so much. I don't think Beasley's out for the game. Blake Jarwin, I don't think, is out. Um, I'm just a little nervous because, hey, if Cole Beasley's out, we're kind of dead in the water there at um, wide receiver because who do we have other than him, other than Cole Beasley and Amari? That's it, right? Right, we got to use Tavon Austin a lot more, uh, especially without, oh, Alan Hearns. Oh, Cole Beasley. Cole Beasley trucking everybody. Cole Beasley has 600, uh, 367 yards and three touchdowns, man. Oh, good God. Oh, yeah, Rams are Rams are definitely beatable. It's just a matter of um, what we, how we play, I guess. If, if we play on our best, uh, you know, then we're definitely going to win. But if we don't even play good, then, you know, we're going to lose. And that's just how it is. So, you know, I, I, I'm confident in this game. Uh, it's not one that I would... Um, I mean, it, the, it's at the Rams, so, like, Rams is kind of, like, you know, a easier place to play. Definitely not a Seattle. Right. Right, that's the thing. Media, if they if they say Cowboys are going to lose, you know, they're counting on that, and nobody's going to think that Cowboys are going to do it. So, you know, most likely we will. Um, right, yeah, we need Tavon in the run game uh, a lot more. Be nice. Um Don't be nervous. There's nothing to be nervous about. Um, I mean, not this early. I, I was last week. I was really nervous the whole week going up to the game and thinking, I really don't want to lose. I really don't. This I don't want our season to end right here. But now I'm thinking, whatever. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. We're, we're going to be okay. Um... I'm confident if play calling's all good, then we're going to be 100% all right. Oh, man. How much would I love if we just, if we were able to win? Go to the NFC Championship, most likely against the Saints. You know what? If it's against the Eagles, I swear... I don't want to play. The, I really don't want to play the Philadelphia Eagles. I mean, it's not that I'm not confident. Call me whatever. Call me an idiot. Say, hey, you're not confident that we can beat the Eagles. No, it's not that. I just don't want to play them again. We've played them twice already. We've swept them. To hell with them. I don't. I don't want them. I don't want anything to do with them. What? What are they to me? What are they? They're nothing. Yeah, Todd Gurley's still a little banged up. I think he's going to be questionable for the game. Great, just like Dak. I, he just got injured. Great, let's go. <laughs> Perfect. Um, but, you know what? I think I think if Todd Gurley doesn't play, it's a, it, it's a win. If Todd Gurley doesn't play, that's a win, man. Uh, but if he does, hey, it's, it's going to be a toss-up no matter what, I guess. 
Um, so, oh, Cole Beasley, 90-yard touchdown. All I'm doing throwing throwing Cole Beasley wide open, man. Oh, a fifth receiving touchdown in this game. Hold on, let me let me check his stats. But um, yeah, we're we're gonna have the advantage basically no matter what because it's at the Rams. The Rams don't really have a home field. I guess. Yeah, Cole Beasley. 11 receptions, 550 yards, 5 touchdowns, 50 yards average. You know how I, I'm playing. Just I'm just throwing the ball deep, Cole Beasley, every single time. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I think there's going to be a lot more Cowboys fans at that game than Rams fans. So that's that's something good. Oh my god. Dude, just Cole Beasley is a freaking legend, man. That catch. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, damn, it won't even let me review it. What's the heck? Dude, if. Dude, that catch right there. Okay. That catch against Giants. I was screaming at the TV, saying, oh my god, how did. That would have been so good. I would have been so happy if we would have won. And and then they showed a replay. I saw his knee go down. That's a touchdown. That's, it's that simple. It's a touchdown. My roommate's a Rams. <laughs> ah, that's how I feel with stat talk every time I see him. I don't want to punch you in the face, man. We're friends. I don't want to do that to you. But, you know what? Things happen. <laughs> no, nah, me and me and Stat Talk, we're, we're good friends. But, you know, I, I, I don't want to have to live with Aaron. The Cowboys suck for a whole nother year. Uh, if we make it to the NFC Championship game, that's going to quiet a hell of a lot of people up. So, you know, if we can make it to the, if we can make it to the damn Super Bowl... I swear. If we make it to the Super Bowl and it's Cowboys Patriots Super Bowl. Philly wins and we wins, man. I'm gonna be I, I don't If we get Cowboys Eagles, oh boy, I it's not that I wouldn't be confident. It's that I don't want to play the damn Eagles again. I hate the, I hate the Eagles. Everything about them. I just... Mm, I'm all good. I don't want to play the Eagles again. Sorry, Eagles fans. I, I just... You just... Something about it I just wouldn't be fun for me. Yeah, even if we win, I'd be happy. But, like... Hey, I'd rather play the Saints. I'd rather play the Saints and lose, I guess, than play the Eagles and win, because it would be nice, though, to send them home crying, I guess. Um, yeah, Cowboys, Pat, Super Bowl. But it'd be a good-ass Super Bowl. You, and you, there's no doubt about that. So, um, Aaron Smith, how you doing? You pumped up about uh, getting that uh, playoff dub against the CLC. I got to keep PG-13, at least PG-13, CLC Hawks. <laughs> Stat Talk knows what I'm talking about. Chargers versus Cowboy. Ooh. You know, any Super Bowl with my Dallas Cowboys in it, that'd be great. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Just any Super Bowl with the Dallas Cowboys in it. I'd be happy. So ready for our Dallas Cowboys. Ah, oh, man. I ain't talking any shit right now because, hey, if that comes back to bite, bite us in the ass, then that ain't good. So I do want us to beat the hell out of them. Rams aren't. Rams are overrated. They really are. 
I ain't gonna say they aren't. Or, they are. But, I'm not smart, so let me figure out what I just said. I, I don't think the Rams... I think they are overrated. So, you know. Damn it. But... Oh, yeah, that's true. Bears. Yeah, but they had the number one defense. and um, But still, oh, the Bears demolished the crap out of them. Like, oh, my God. I think they only scored, what, three points? Touchdown. 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 It's 77 to 20. Give me the damn touchdown. I'll just sneak it in because um, I'm not playing with Dak anymore. I'm playing with my created quarterback. Who's a 99 overall. So. Um, but. Yeah. The Rams have good. Defense. So. <sighs> I swear though. If we, I mean. Rams don't have a good defense. The Bears. They had a good defense when they played them. And I ain't got Xbox. I'm play, PlayStation. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell. Uh, there is no way that I'm not supporting Dak at all. Dak's best quarterback in the NFC East, man. He's he's made the argument to be one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL over the past three years. And Zeke, man, he's going to run wide. Uh, uh, mm. Him and Todd Gurley, that's going to be a fun matchup, I think. I think last year, Dallas Cowboys, oh, hey, guess what? We played the Rams. Oh, hey, guess what? If it wasn't for Ryan Switzer's stupid damn mistake, we would have won that game. Oh, man. Th this team, it has so much potential. I'm just a little worried about mm, play calling. Still, I ain't gotten over Scott Lenahan. Still, my, my biggest concern. Right. Three and five. Oh man, we were three and five, and now we're ten and six. I think, and in the playoffs, we only lost one, 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 one damn game. Just imagine what it would have been like if we would have had not help from the refs, but um, also not getting crucified by the refs. Cowboys won because of the refs. Then explain to me why we had more penalties than they did. Explain to me that. Seven seven twenty three man. Uh, I don't want the season to end until this. I want the season to end in the Super Bowl. Oh my good lord! I I completed twenty one passes straight, and then I I missed last four and fumbled. To be fair, though, my offensive line ain't helping me, though, man. Oh, it sounds like Cowboys the first eight games of the season. Right? Oh, 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 that's a first. Oh. Ow. I'm just killing them. Just killing the Jacksonville Jags. Oh, man, it feels good to do it, too. Oh, that, yeah, that's, that's another touchdown for Cole Beasley. Oh, no, that ain't Cole Beasley. I thought it was. But, but um, man, Saturday, it's supposed to rain, I think. I don't know. It's going to do something here in my my town. So. Most likely snow. Um, Dag scramble on third and 14, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That was a good play. Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, because... <sighs> Just... I don't like the Seahawks. I really don't like the Seahawks anymore, man. They're, they're, they're starting to become a rival team. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. Cole Beasley. 
down to the five. Cole Beasley has around 900 receiving. <laughs> one game. One game. One game. Around 500 rec- 900 receiving. <laughs> Gonna lead the league. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh that's that's a touchdown. Touchdown, Cole Beasley. Uh, I'm just pouring them on, man. Hopefully what the Cowboys going to do to the Rams. Well, I live stream the game. Oh, man, that's... I, I'm prob- I might, uh, as long as I don't have a bunch of friends over for the game. Because, like, hey, could you honestly could you honestly blame me, though? That's going to be a good playoff game. But, um... But, right, Scott Lahan's play calling is awful. Yeah, if Jason Garrett can take over at play calling, would I mind? No, not at all. Like, come on, man. What? He's got pretty good play calling. So, like, I'd be all right with that. I just don't like Scott Lenahan, so. Oh, man, I threw a pick to end the game. Oh, man. Whatever, I still won 84 to 23. But, right, like I was going to say, Cowboys, it's at the Rams, but, you know, what? whatever. Um, I miss Stat Talk, too, man. We we hung out a lot um, <laughs> over Christmas vacay and everything and stuff. So, but if you want a little bit of Stat Talk, Go check out um, the wild card predictions with Stat Talk. That's just me and him talking and joking around and hanging out with the leader of the Dallas Cowboys hate club. Because that's what he is. But, yeah. We've both been a little busy and stuff. That's why I haven't been on here much. Um, I'm just on here now because, hey, I got nothing better to do. Uh, homework. No, no, I didn't. Nope. <laughs> and uh, and I'm playing Madden, so like, hey, why not? Why not? I'm gonna cry now. That that's my pop tart. You don't mess with me and my pop tart. But Rams don't have home field advantage like other teams. Like Seattle, come on, man. What do they? What do they got for home field advantage? A lot, right? What do the Rams have? Nothing at all. They they ain't got they ain't got home field advantage. So I'm hoping, hoping against hope that. We can do something, pull it out, and get a dub against the um, Rams. Uh, I'm just worried, though. We got a solid injury report pretty big. 27-17. Man, that... Wow. That'd be pretty nice. I uh, I'd be I'd be in favor of in favor of that. You know, just as long as we can win and win out in the playoffs, I'm good. In three, four. Six game win streak is what we're gonna be on. We're gonna go on a six game win streak. And yeah. It's gonna be pretty cool. Trust me. Gonna win the Super Bowl. I don't know, man. I'm I'm hoping. If, I, if we can win the Super Bowl, people still gonna hate on Dak. Don't worry about that. People hate on us though, any any for any reason. Uh, I don't even know, man. Mm. I'm just playing a little mad. So. Don't 
Don't judge me, guys. Um, uh, let me think of something to say here. If the Cowboys can beat the Rams, I'm almost confident that we can beat the Saints. Most likely. It'd either be the Saints or Philly. Um, so, if, if we can we can beat them then like that'd be great so you know that's that's really all i got kind of lost the words by now um but i'll see you guys later have a good night let's go cowboys let's get this dub i'll probably see you guys tomorrow before the game